Good morning everyone. Today we are going to see software testing unit 3 session 7. In the previous session we have studied the concept usability testing. So in today's session we are also going to continue with the usability testing and other types of testing. So in the previous session we have studied that we need to test the usability testing to check out that whatever the interface design whatever you have designed for your software how the look and feel you are given to the software must be understandable to the user and they should be able to understand and should be able to use it properly for them they should not stuck anywhere and some of the various methods we have seen in the usability testing now in today's session we will see development and testing of client applications and web applications so the client applications are different from the web applications client applications are desktop applications and its interfaces are different and its way of conducting and developing the client application are different whereas the testing and developing of web application is different so some comparison we are going to do how to perform the usability testing uh, on this different client application and web application See, client applications are very rich in features and every screen try to accomplish various tasks and they provide a lot of information. But whereas on the other hand, the web applications like the amount of information and the list of tasks in each screen is limited. This is because to enable fast loading of the web pages. So the minimum contents will be added on the screen of the web application so that the pages can be loaded very fast. So the usability activities are performed at different stages for this, these various types of applications. So the first point you can see at client application it is designed for functionality and at web application it is designed for user interface. So web application interfaces are designed before designing functionality. That gives adequate time for doing two phases of usability testing. Whereas in client application, the user interface becomes available only after functionality is available. So in a client application, we see that we first write the coding, we develop it and then we design the uh, interfaces. That means we try to then integrate it. But whereas in application, web application, first we design the user interfaces and then the functionalities will be designed for that. Then next we have here perform coding or coding for functionality. Then perform coding for user interface. So at, at client application first, the all functionalities will be developed. Everything will be coded for the functionalities. And then and at whereas in web application, first all interface designs will be completed. Coding for that interface design will be written. Then at, then at client application, after coding for functionality, design for user interface. Then whereas in web application, the testing for user interface, whatever the user interface are developed for web application, that will be tested in a phase one. So this is a usability testing phase one. Now after designing the coding for designing the user interface, then coding will be written for user interface at client applications. And here design for functionality. So once the user interface is fixed in web application, then the design for functionality will be done here. How the functionality is you are going to implement. Then here integrate user interface with functionality. So whatever the functionality you have developed and whatever the designing you have done, it will be integrated. At this side performing coding for functionality. Then test the user interface along with functionality. So both phase 1 and phase 2 are combined here. And here integrate user interface with functionality. And test user interface along with functionality. So we have seen here there are different ways of testing, usability testing in client application and web applications. Benefits of usability testing. So it increased productivity because of user friendly interfaces it increases pro productivity. 
decrease training and support cost as if your user interfaces are very easy and understandable then very less training and very less days are needed to train the employees and support cost is also very less as it increases sales and revenues and reduce development time and cost also and reduce maintenance cost as well as increase customer satisfaction so these are the benefits of usability testing because the users are going to operate through the user interface designs so it is very important so that whatever you have developed must be understandable to the user there are various categories of users some of the users are new some of the users are experienced so you have to design such way that your software must be usable for each and every user whether it is a new user or experienced user or any other type of user roles in usability testing so in this usability testing the specific persons have the specific roles and responsibilities to conduct this usability testing so even usability testing can be included from the planning onwards to designing as you seen in the previous video so we'll see the various roles usability architect and consultant so we need the usability architect and consultant for educating and advocating and obtaining management commitment required for usability so the usability architect or the consultant helps in resolving conflicts that arise during the implementation of usability testing across the organization and it creates the communication uh, between the customer and the organization for getting feedback on usability problems so he is like one uh, consultant who is going to take the feedback from the customers to solve the problems usability expert so the usability expert provides the technology guidance uh, which is needed to perform the usability testing and giving technical directions to all people performing usability testing or also establishing usability standards or any certifications for product team human factors specialist so human factor specialist role is to review the screens and artifacts for usability ensuring that consistency across multiple products suggesting improvements to enhance user experience so this human factor specialist is going to bring the consistency efforts and productivity in the software product next graphic designer so graphic designer responsibilities to create the icons graphic images and so on which are needed for user interfaces so verifying the icons and graphic messages whether those match or no and whether they are able to communicate or no so these all will be tested by graphic designer usability manager so the responsibility of user usability manager is estimating scheduling and tracking all usability testing activities so he is like a manager who is going to track how all usability activities are going on he is also going to work with customers to obtain the feedback on the current version of the product he is also going to work with usability experts to get usability strategies for the project usability test engineer so the responsibility of usability test engineer is to execute usability test based scripts so whatever the test cases are design or scripts it has to be executed and providing feedback to usability test for execution perspectives they have to give the feedback to the other roles of the usability testers next we'll see aesthetic testing so in this aesthetic testing we are trying to make the software beautiful to look so we are trying to focus on improving the look and feel of the user interfaces so it helps in improving the usability testing so beauty sets the first impression for any product and the perception that beauty is not important for the product may impact product acceptance by users so in a software product we cannot make all the things uh, look beautiful but at least should ensure that the product which you have developed is pleasing to the eye making software product beautiful improving look and feel for the user interface 
So aesthetic is in all aspects such as messages, screen, colors and images. Pleasant look for all these. So as aesthetic testing is that you are also going to consider the messages, how the message you are, you are sending and the screens, the look of the screens, colors and images. So the pleasant look should be given to this all and uh, should be very pleasing to the eye in the software product. Aesthetic testing can be performed by anyone who appreciates beauty involving beauticians, artists and architects who have regular roles of making different aspects of life beautiful or serve as expert here in aesthetic testing. So for this conducting aesthetic testing you can take the help of the persons who are uh, like beauticians, artists or architects who are making most of the things beautiful or any experts you can take to how to make your software beautiful, how to give a different unique look to your software. Involving them through the design and testing phase. You can also involve them in the designing and testing phase. For example, see icons used in the product may look for may look more appealing if they are designed by an artist. If they are not meant for only conveying messages but also help in making the product beautiful. So whatever the icons you are using, like submit. So when you are using the submit icon. So instead of just writing the letters, make it colorful and you can also add on that icon some images, some uh, glitters, animations you can add so that it can look beautiful and it is very pleasing to the eye. So messages also, the messages we use it's only for uh, to notify what type of errors, messages, okay, but it should be also conveying messages so that it makes the software beautiful. So to make your software beautiful you can uh, use different different uh, colors and uh, light colors, animations you can include, some glitters you can uh, include and uh, the contents which you are using you can apply the various styles for that and uh, options, menus should be able to get those all the functionalities easily. So these are all a part of uh, Aesthetic testing, this is all a part of usability testing. So in today's session, we have seen, uh, we have continued with usability testing and aesthetic testing. Thank you.